Welcome back, adventurers. I'm an adventurer like you, and this is Eve Online. Today we are going to do the fourth of the five career agents, and we have selected the entrepreneur. So this uh, series of missions is called Balancing the Books. I need someone to safely transport these data sheets. They contain various files that relate to matters of national security. Not something we can entrust to anyone less than a capsuleer. Once you've delivered them, contact me and let me know you've completed the mission. I'll have something else ready for you by the time you get back. Don't forget to put the data sheets in your cargo hold before you set off. Thank you for the tip. Yeah, that is useful. Um, so we need to go to Aminaka, which is one jump away. Let's set the destination, except this mission. That will make it easier. Um, data sheets are in an item hanger. Here they are. Put them in the uh, ship. Probe. I have uh, chosen the discovery for today. Added uh, a gun to it and a salvager that we will need later. Alright, jump to Aminaka. Web drive active. So yeah, this is my my normal like scanning layout. Um, the data analyzer, the relic analyzer and the scan rangefinding array. But uh, for the missions we're doing today, uh, I've added a gun and a salvager. So It's a nice little ship, I like it. Web drive active. So yeah, this is a very simple mission. But uh this is the kind of stuff you will have to do a lot as an entrepreneur, I guess. Uh, shipping stuff from one station to another. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Of course, you could always pay other people to do it for you. I mean, there are player corps in, um, in game that are specialized in hauling stuff. So, oh. start a conversation with him, a remote conversation, we can complete the mission and get the rewards. Uh, sounds good, please drop by so we can formalize the mission contract. So we need to go back to the university to get the next mission. So let's do that. And in case you're wondering, the flag here is for the current event. It just started the day I'm recording this. The Crimson Harvest. And uh, we can choose a side, which I haven't done yet. I don't really like either side. But then one of them is Amar. And as... Uh, a Mimitar, I really don't like them are. They enslaved our people historically. So I might want to side with the pirates, but they're like a vampire cult. Go figure. But yes, it's October, it's Halloween season. Web drive active.
The thing also is you need to be careful shipping around valuable stuff because right now the 50% loot drop is raised to 90% so gankers are more likely to gank you. Docking request accepted. Now, of course, we're in a um, beginner system, so it's unlikely to happen here. But it's something to keep in mind. All right, here's a mission shooter for someone of your caliber. A transport ship carrying sensitive cargo has been destroyed by pirates in the area. I'm I'm giving you a civilian salvager module. I already have a normal salvager module fitted, so you can go in, use it on the ship's wreckage, and extract anything of use from their databanks. Once you have that black box, return it to me. Also, there may be some hostiles still lingering around too. We'll be ready for combat. If you're successful, I may reward you with a brand new mining frigate. Adventure. Okay, another adventure that is. But okay, if you didn't get one in the other uh, mission um, series, then you get one here. Okay. Ah, we are being directed toward fitting a salvager. You need a specific module fitted. Yeah, I already have a salvager aura, so... Don't get lost. Sorry for the language, but this is like too tight hand holding. You don't need that. Warp drive active. Yeah, no, it's directing us back to the university to fit the civilian salvager module, but we have a better one fitted already, so why would we? Alright, an acceleration gate. Let's approach. And activate. Warp drive active. Okay, there are some hostiles here. Well, there is one to start with. Uh, our optimal range is within 460 meters. Okay. So we need to get closer. Which isn't that large. Hmm, stuff is happening all around here. Hmm. Let's get rid of this rookie. How did the rookie survive? Probably by hiding somewhere. Okay, now we need to salvage the civilian transport rack. Uh, here. Let's have a look at it. This one. Okay.
and we got the black box. Beautiful. All right, let's go and dock at the university again. Wow, stuff around us explodes. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Oh, ain't that nice. All right. We got it for you. Fantastic work, Anderson. With this in our possession, we can build a clearer picture of the Angel Cartel attack. Here is your venture as promised. Now we have another venture. Uh, in our ship hanger, not the item hanger. Uh, so we now have three. I mean, I was given one by the other agent, I was given one by a GM. And now by this agent, so yeah, um, we have plenty to mine with, and if we get blown up, we have an immediate replacement. <clears throat> Speaking about mining, I did do some mining with Rock Smasher before um, I started recording this. So I went to um, a 0.5 system to mine some rare ore. Uh, that I will need to build uh, my cruiser, as is my like private project. All right, so uh, accept this mission. What do we need to do? Work career in business. You will need a basic understanding of crucial industrial processes, such as mining ore and reprocessing it, along with a myriad of other materials, into its component minerals. I want you to get on board your new venture, fitted with a mining laser and a turret weapon. The former for the asteroids, the latter for any pirates that might attack you, and head out to a certain set of coordinates where you'll mine ore from Velspar asteroids. Once you get back, refine the Velspar ore into, tri into Tritanium. If you had to deal with any pirates, you can also refine any modules you retrieve from their wrecks. Though be aware that reprocessing of ships and modules usually carries a hefty waste penalty. Alright. So. We need to get Tritanium. We could also just buy it or just give it to him because we already have it. But let's go out and do and show what the, the mission is like. And we will be granted a miner. Okay. And that's with an E, not an O. Just in case you were confused. Now, again, once again, we are... Um, guided a uh, very strongly towards um, fitting this new ship that we got but we're not gonna I'm just gonna use rock smasher that's uh, that should look off time okay so uh, no, we do not need to unfit a module to make space. Rock Smasher is perfectly geared and fitted out for this task because we have some warriors in our drone bay. So yeah, this will do just fine. The weapons I have fitted are drones. Imagine that. Yeah, um, when I was mining in 0 0.5, I did get some, some enemies, some rats attacking me that were stronger, a bit too strong for me. I had three coming at me at the same time, 
and uh, agent missions let's destroy our encounter warp to location that's another way to go yeah, right. if it doesn't show up here. um as i was saying yeah i was being attacked by three rats i managed to take down two but i they they had already gone through my shield and into my armor so i warped out by the time i came back um Another player had arrived in a humongous orca and they killed the remaining rat. Uh, what are we looking for here? We need to mine Feldspar. This Feldspar, there's only one. Yeah. And then let's release the hounds. There they are. This is your ship's capacitor. Why are you talking about that? Energy stored in your capacitor is used to power your warp drive and keep your active motors running. Great. Different ships have different capacitor size and recharge time. Motors can be fitted to boost your capacitor, increase its size, or improve its recharge rate. That is wonderful, thank you. Yeah, we have no problem, we are we are cap stable. So yeah, we could scan this, I uh, have this scan fitted to find out how much is in this uh, asteroid. Four thousand cubic meters. So, pretty much a full hold. We might as well mine all of that. And my warriors are already on it and have already taken out the rat before I was even able to rocket okay so now we can go back uh, because we have uh, taken out that rat we've mined some ore we've mined enough ore um, but i'm going to um, exhaust this this asteroid uh, before i go back so see you on the other side we uh, managed to get 40k feldspar out of that asteroid. Docking request accepted. And we are now ready to hand in the mission. So, we put this in our item hanger and tell him we got it. Excellent work, you're a quick learner. I'm going to manufacture something from that titanium you brought, but after that I'll have a new job for you. Um, ah, yeah, we didn't uh, refine it or something. Did we need to do that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have plenty of tritanium. Half a million. Most of which I need for the cruiser I want to build. Okay, what's next? Balance in the books 4 of 10. I have just the thing you want. The black box you retrieved indicates that the Angel Cartel has built a surveillance facility nearby, using it to launch attacks on convoys from the Republic University. You need to take out the outpost and any vessels defending it. Once the area is clear, use the civilian data analyzer I'm giving you to hack the data storage device in the area. Bring back whatever it contains. Okay, so we need guns and we need a data analyzer. Hmm. 
Right. Fit any weapon. Ah, oh, yeah, we are in our venture. You need specific module fitted. So you say, but that is nonsense, really. Um. Yeah, let us. I would like to use my rifter, but it, it has three guns and not an extra slot for... No, no, we don't need a salvager, we need a data analyzer. Yeah, I do want to take out um, Roughhauser, as I have named it. Look at that. All right, uh, what do we need? We need a data analyzer on this. Yeah, one of these will need to go, like the Weber. Okay, and in this case we can actually fit the civilian data analyzer because... Um, this one. Uh, because we don't have another one, I think. I mean, a normal one. Yeah, we only have civilians uh, spare um, because the regular one is on uh, discovery. All right, then we're ready to go. This is this is way overkill for this mission, but never mind. Uh, I love flying this ship. And we don't really need to see what's in the holes because we're not mining or anything. So we need to take out posts and any cartel ships and then use the data analyzer to hack up the data storage device. Okay. job in uh, designing this and updating the design. The angel hook needs to be taken out. Okay. That should be very easy. The range on this eight kilometers. Okay. Let's go a little faster, shall we? And let's uh, put this in the center of our screen. There you go. Boom. One shot. It. And where's the wreck? Yeah. Approach the wreck. But the cargo is probably just metal scraps. Okay. And we don't have a salvager, so never mind. Yeah, make sure that the ship is stopped and then put the data analyzer to work. Okay, so we start here. Or Okay, three, two, one, and that is the system core, and then we have a successful hack. It won't always be this easy though, but it's an interesting minigame. Um, now we need to loot it, encode a data chip, cool. We have all that, and we can go back to the station.
Docking permission requested. Docking yes. request accepted. Hmm. This mission, and then what's next? Something came up that's right up your alley. The cartel has heavily encoded all of the tactical information. Our best hope at this decryption is a friend of mine over in Todeco 7 at Republic University. So I want you to safely ferry it to her. Uh, I'd be happy to offer you some inertial stabilizers for the journey. This module improves your ship's handling and maneuverability, helping you to warp faster. Inertial stabilizers, yeah. Um, that's a gyro stabilizer for our guns. We have an overdrive injector system instead of the inertial stabilizer. So this will work just fine. Thank you very much. But yes, that does indeed help with maneuverability if we would use it. And expanded cargo hold, which does the opposite basically. And it gives of course more cargo hold, but we don't need that. And uh, we can save that for our hauler. Okay, so we need to go here. Let's set our destination. What are you on about? You have two new items. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to take the encoded data chip, of course. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. And we could fit this, but I, I don't want to. And we have a skin. Don't we already have a skin on this? Anyway, uh, let's go. So for this we actually need to make four jumps as you can see here. Or well, maybe you can't because it's extremely small. Drive but yeah, this one is several systems away. Which is fine. And when we do agent missions, it's it's similar to this. Like many missions will be like the next system over, and then sometimes you get a mission that is like several systems away. You need to make a series of jumps to get there. And of course, if you do distribution missions, then that is a regular case. Kind of looking forward though to the uh, Sisters of Eve epic arc because now we stay in Minmatar space and it's practically always this reddish background, which is beautiful, don't get me wrong. But after a while, you've seen it, right? So, a change of scenery would do us good.
and the Sisters of Eve epic arc takes you like around the four different empires so we get to see a bit of everything so if you keep following the channel you will see that too or of course you can jump into the game yourself and find out for yourself Permission requested. Yeah, I'm not sure why you're highlighting this because you're ready. Docking request accepted. I mean, we we flew right straight to the door. I mean, it's like we don't need to do another step. Okay, that is this mission. Uh, before we do anything else, let us set destination to him again because I'm sure he will ask us to come by the main station. Sounds good, please drop by so we can formalize the mission contract. We'll get a civilian armor repairer. Uh, no, we need to get one and drop it off at the university. We'll get a broker relations skill book and a nanofiber internal structure a nanofiber is that's a good module to have and some uh, money so let's go back and do that mission since our goal is to do the whole series of balancing the books right Somebody asked why I am doing this because people can just jump into the game and they can play it for free and find out for themselves. But, um, you know, sometimes people are not able to play or just want to see what it looks like. Maybe they're stuck with some, some facet of the game and seeing someone else doing these missions can help. I mean, I know that. I've, I've watched videos just to find out, like, what am I missing? So. I'm just uh, documenting my journey. And hopefully others will enjoy that. Maybe learn something from it. But yeah, we will move on. We're, we're not gonna stick with this uh, newbie content. We'll do other stuff too. But I am a relative newbie, so it makes sense for me to start here. I'll document my journey from the beginning.
So yeah, I'm not um, particularly worried about doing stuff that is uh, maybe obvious to many people. Some things about it may not be obvious to others. Like how the game guides you towards using certain modules, but you don't have to. There are ways around it. Usually. Docking permission requested. But we're Docking back. Request accepted. So, let's get ready to do the next mission. It seems a bit slower today. That's probably because it's the first day of Crimson Harvest and a lot of people jumping on board. Alright. I have just the thing you want. The security forces guarding the pirates' next target aren't operating at full capacity and have a shortage of armor repair modules. I need you to procure one for them before the next attack and I don't care where from. Let's see how good your business, business acumen is. So one civilian armor repairer. Do we happen to have one? Maybe? We got an expanded cargo hold. Uh, civilian armor repairer. We have a lot of stuff, but... Armor. We have a small armor repair, but not a civilian armor repair. Now, the way to go about this is either to get it from the market or to build one. It's actually for sale for 20,000 here. And somebody is trying to be clever and rip someone off with almost 40 million uh, anyway yeah we can buy this and be done with it and we get 267 anyway so let's just do that if we had the blueprint for it we could build one but I don't care to get a blueprint if we're not given one yeah, okay. We already found it. Be careful, yeah, I know. Are, are you saying that this is the game trying to tell us like, hey, there are some people that are scamming. This is way too obvious. Okay, let's buy this one. That is in our station for 20,000. This is your buy order. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, excellent, Captain. Your order has been delivered to your item hanger. I hope your agent likes their item and enjoy and you enjoy the is. Okay. So there it is, and we can now end in the mission. Excellent. We're gonna some of your contribution will inspire others to aid us, I'm sure. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, thank you for that. Okay, so I changed into a probe because for the next mission, we will need to use an analyzer module and I have them both fitted on this ship. So let's see what the mission exactly requires of us. I have something for you. We've discovered an ancient site that the pirates are using as some kind of staging outpost. We cannot let them continue to gain any kind of foothold in this area. You need to kill them. Since we're businessmen, mind you, I suggest you also fit a civilian relic analyzer to your ship. Well, I don't know why I would, because I have a regular relic analyzer already. Anyway, once you have cleared the mission area of hostiles, you can use the analyzer to inspect in any ancient ships or ruins in the area. Then we need to acquire a data core and drop it off here. 
Our Empire scouts have found an ancient site that at first glance appears it might be of use to us. I want you to go there with your analyzing equipment and find out what it holds. There'll be angel cartel ships, but I'm sure you should have no problems dealing with them. Whatever you find after your analysis, bring it back to me. So angel cartel are um, vulnerable to uh, explosive and kinetic damage. So our ship, well, we can go to the inventory. Uh, we have fusion ammo because that has explosive and kinetic damage. So that is the right kind of ammo for these rats all right and then if we finish this within four hours and a bit we get extra money so i am pretty sure we can manage that bit to ship nah nah i mean i'm just gonna i'm gonna disregard that suggestion yeah we have another we already had one and now we have another civilian radical analyzer which will be of no use to us because we have a better one already fitted and now it's gonna tell us to go back to fit that but see we have a data analyzer one and a relic analyzer one so there is no need for that it does mean that we can't use this to uh, warp to the place where we need to go we need to go through this menu the right click in space menu and counter warp to location so that's a way to um, circumvent that the hand holding which is way too tight also the the system should the game should recognize we already have relic analyzer it's just not the civilian one but we shouldn't need that specific module there are different ways to deal with this drive active. and there we have it I saw some red ones uh, we could probably just go ahead but we might as well destroy them right i i actually fitted three warriors uh because i had improved my drone skills in the meantime do we want to kill them it will be f pretty quick right so let's approach with haste i also fitted a um nanofiber and a inertia stabilizer just to make uh, the handling of the ship better. Is there any loot in here? This one has a loot. Just metal script. Oh, some ammo as well. Nice. Okay, now um, we should use this. Go to the next pocket. Warp drive active. And you just always make sure you have your drones in bay because yeah, sometimes I forget. And then you need to go back and scoop them up or buy new ones. Okay, what do we have here? Ah. Uh, I'll just approach them. Launch my drones. Engage my afterburner.
Oh no, not that one, not that one. I'm so used to F1 being the um the gun. I forgot that uh, I'm an exploring ship and now my probes are probably in space. Alright. Return. Uh, ancient ship structure. Let's go there. Where are my drones? Let's recover them because uh, my probes, I should say, because we don't need them for this. Oh. Okay, where is the thing? There. Uh, we need to. Target it and analyze it with the relic analyzer. There we go, we should stop our ship. And there it is. This one has successful. Load the data core. And that's that. We have our drones in bay, very good. We don't need this. And I think we're all good. We can dock. Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Here we go. We can complete this mission. Impressive work, Anderson. I'll pass the analysis on to my superiors immediately. Thank you once again. Alright, do you have anything more for me? Sure, I've got something. I've compiled all the information you've gathered so far from the various pirate facilities. It is my belief that with everything going on, we might be able to get more military funding out of these areas. Ooh. This central data core will provide all the evidence we need to argue for it. Okay, so we'll get some rewards. Uh, we need to transport the data core to Aminaka. So set destination, that's just next door. And then of course we need to get that core and put it in our ship. All right, nice. Jump. Warp drive active. And take a sip of my sugar-free drink. Sad these mobile depots that I used as advertisements in space. Great desert is high out. I guess that is an event site. This is a, it has a Jove observatory in the system, so yeah. 
Docking request accepted. Now it says here we can have four drones in space, except our drone bay only has room for three. So we have the skills to have four in space, but um, drone bay only has room for three. So anyway. And then um, training the skill for drones 5 will take several days. So I'm postponing that because I'm not using that drones that much. And uh, let's go to the next mission. Let's balance some more books. Drop, please drop by. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm not in your station. Okay, then we should uh, we should go here. And we already have access to level 2 uh, missions. Mission agents. Orb drive active. So yeah, I've been uh, collecting raw material, mining raw materials and uh, Refining them into minerals so I can build my cruiser. That's like a private side project. And as I said before, we need some minerals that are not normally available in high security systems, although there are ways around it. I mean, there are some. Special systems. And if you go to the agency here, it shows um, under resource harvesting or anomalies, you need to look for 0.5 systems like this unknown or anomaly. So that might have, it's now unknown, but that might have the resources I need Docking permission requested. without going into Docking request low security. Accepted. This one as well. Um, the thing is you need to look if it is adjacent to a low security system. So a 0 0.5 system that is adjacent to a 0 0.4 or lower. Which this one is. So this would be a good system to visit to see if they have that. Now here in Maluk there are just asteroid belt remnants that there's nothing special there. Just feldspar and so on. So it's fine because that's also we need a lot of titanium, but I already gathered my titanium, so anyway. That aside. Here is a mission suited for someone of your caliber. There is one other thing our security forces need before they are fully prepared for the coming battle with these insufferable pirates. Our forces are suffering shortages of afterburners for their frigate contingents and the resulting lack of speed is costing them dearly. I need two 1MN, that's Mega Newton I suppose, afterburner 1 modules from you. Buy them, build them or loot them from the cooling wreckage of other ships. I won't ask questions. Okay. So we need two afterburners and we will get one expanded cargo hold. Two afterburners. Uh, what do we have? So we can just do a quick search because we have so many um, things in our inventory here in this um, station. So we actually have two afterburners already. So we can just give them to him. We don't need to buy or make them. This is just uh, way faster. Oh, complete this mission. That's very nice. Now, if you were, uh, if you if you don't have two of those, uh, you should have been given one before at least. Um, but you can either go and make them. And if you don't have the blueprint, you can buy a blueprint on the market. Um, market here. Or you can just buy the afterburner. Yeah, I was looking at mining drones. 
and now that I have an Omega account, I can use those. So this, you can either straight out buy them. There's like 10,000 or so you might need. Well, there are 20,000 here, but if you want them cheaper, you can go to Rens, for example. Um, or you can buy the blueprints. Right? Buy the blueprint. Cost a bit more, but this is an original, so it has unlimited runs. Anyway, there are, those are some of the options. Balancing the books, and this is our final quest of this uh, series of missions. Your final test as a business mogul is also your opportunity to feed the war machine. You've provided us with utility modules, now it's the basic building blocks of violence. Weapons. I'm giving you a blueprint copy with which you can fulfill my quota. Any remaining production runs are yours, as is this industrial class ship I'm going to reward you with. And he's going to reward us with another wreath. Okay, that's fine. Are you ready to pass your final test, Andersom? Yes, I am. So we need to build one gun in this station, or deliver it in this station. And, um, wait a moment. Ah, we were given the blueprint. Okay, so we can either build it or buy it. And this blueprint has how many runs? Five runs are remaining, and it will take us uh, about 15 minutes to build one with our current skills. Right, we required Industry 1, which we have, and 220 Titanium and 209 Pyrite. Uh, now, if I do that in the ore and minerals. We have plenty of Tritanium and we have a lot of Pyrite, but I need a lot more for um, my cruiser project. But I set out to do all this the way that we build our own modules, so I'm going to build this. Uh, we have these, so we can just install this. What is up with this? Titanium pyrite. Yes. Current system. Oh, it's actually going to take us 12 minutes and 21 seconds because uh, I have somewhat increased skills. Um. Ah, it's because we haven't accepted yet. That's why. I was wondering why doesn't it light up blue and why does it like show it's not working for us now? Yeah, see now it's all fine. Okay, and this can go. This can go. Why start conversation? Complete the mission because we have one. Let me guess, we have one. Uh, what is it? Gatling auto cannon. Yes, we have several. Okay, so we don't even need to do that, but we could. Right. Um, but in order to um, not wait and cut the episode, I'm gonna complete this mission this way, the easy way. Cannot complete mission. I must deliver one Gatling Auto Cannon 1. Didn't you just tell me I could get one any which way? This is. Ah, I need to package it. That's why. Because I've used this. Um, repackage. Yes. Repackage. And then we can complete the mission. There we go. 
And that is it. Well done, Andersom. Here is your wreath as promised. Use it well. You've completed all my tasks and shown yourself to be a savvy entrepreneur. There is an entire cluster filled with opportunities for someone like you. To find other agents, you can just check the agency. Distribution agents might be of interest to you. Or if you want to broaden your skill set, you can reach out to the other career agents here in this station. Whichever future business endeavors you decide to pursue, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So, we don't actually need to do this, though I said I would, but I'm not going to use 125mm gallon auto cannons, but I can sell them, right? Okay, let's do that. Um, we'll do just one job run to start with, and then uh, we can see how that goes. Now, generally, with low skills, it is not advised to produce stuff for sale because there are people who with much better skills who can do things much more efficiently because yeah this material efficiency especially that's that's losing his money basically if we would care about that but in this case we don't but it's just for your information so yeah that was um the entrepreneur thank you for watching i hope you check back again next time when we will do this soldier of fortune career agent and his missions and that is going to be uh, explosive i can tell you that all right so please hit the like button if you enjoyed this but if you made it this far you probably did and see you again in the next episode